Hey guys, it's Roy here from rwoco 12 and EpicDroid.com, and I'm here today to show you guys how to unlock and relock your bootloader on the OnePlus 5. There are a lot of great reasons why you'd want to unlock the bootloader, and there's a lot of great reasons to have a locked bootloader. The main reason you want to unlock your bootloader is so that you can root your device. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that here today. I will show you in a separate video how to root the device, but we're going to show you both how to lock and I'm sorry how to unlock and how to lock your bootloader in today's video so to do this we're going to need two things we're going to need the OnePlus 5 and then we're going to need a PC running minimal ADB and fast boot so if you guys don't have that already I'll have a link in the video description down below where you can get the latest version of minimal ADB and fast boot if you don't have it I highly recommend it it is a awesome utility for anyone who is tinkering with their Android devices so here we have our OnePlus 5 and I've already got that plugged in on my dock there but the first thing you need to do is you need to go into your settings and you're going to go to about phone and then once you're in about phone you're going to look for your build number and you're going to tap that seven times once you've done that it's going to say you are now a developer hit the back button and then directly above system updates you'll see a new menu option that says developer options you're going to tap on that you want to make sure developer options is on you're going to scroll down to OEM unlocking and as you can see mine is already enabled if yours is not enabled just go ahead and check that so it is enabled and I scroll down a little bit further and we have USB debugging so you want to make sure that USB debugging is enabled it's going to say USB debugging is intended for development purposes only use it to copy data between your computer and your device install apps on your device without notification and read log data in order to get this process to work we do need USB debugging so go ahead and hit OK now one thing you should see if you're already plugged into your computer it's going to pop up this little message that says this computer's fingerprint is blah 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 do you want to allow it I would say always allow from this computer because that will make sure that there's no problems as we're going through the unlocking process and then hit OK so that means that anytime I plug it into this computer I now have access to USB debugging now to make sure that everything is good to go you're going to come into ADB fastboot and you're going to type in ADB devices and that will tell you a list of the devices that are attached and so you will see a list of numbers and letters this is the identifier for your device as you can see my device is connected so then we are going to do ADB reboot bootloader and this will reboot your device into fastboot or into the bootloader menu so now that you're in fastboot mode we're going to check to make sure that fastboot recognizes the device so you're going to type in fastboot devices and hit enter and you should see basically the same thing you did above here when you did ADB devices you'll see the same ID and you'll see fastboot instead of device so my device is recognized it's good to go so now you type fastboot OEM unlock and then you hit enter now you're going to get a warning here on your phone and it says unlock bootloader and it gives you a lot of information saying that yes this is what it is it allows you to install custom operating systems it's not the most secure method in the world and to prevent unauthorized access to your personal data unlocking the bootloader will also delete all personal data from your phone i.e. a factory data reset so this will wipe your device so make sure that you are ready to do it and you have all your data backed up before you get to this point do you want to continue or do you want to unlock it and just restart the phone or I'm sorry do you not want to unlock it so you use your volume keys we're going to say yes and then you hit the power button to say yes you want to do it it's going to restart the phone you're going to get this message because it means that the bootloader is now unlocked you will see that every time that you restart your device and it's going to start wiping the device so now it's going to keep going you're going to get the message again because it's restarting Now because you're starting from a clean install here, it will take a few minutes, so don't freak out, just be patient. And presto, your bootloader is now unlocked. Now, we're going to show you guys how to lock the bootloader in case you want to lock it after you have unlocked it. Now the process to lock your bootloader is almost identical to that to unlock your bootloader. You're going to go into your settings, you're going to go to about phone, you're going to go into your build number seven times, you're going to go into developer options make sure that's enabled OEM unlocking is going to be hard locked into that enabled mode because your device is already unlocked so it's not going to let you turn it off you're going to enable USB debugging we're going to get the message always allow hit OK ADB devices devices attached ADB reboot bootloader And fast boot devices make sure it's there it's there now I'm going to pause and offer some additional information 
So now chances are, if you've gotten to this point already and you're locking the bootloader, it's because you're wanting to return your device to 100% stock and you're wanting to give it that stock experience. It is possible to lock the bootloader with a custom ROM or a custom kernel or a custom recovery, but you should not do that because it will put your device into a soft break state and it will just be in a constant boot loop going on and on and on forever. So before you do anything here, make sure that your device is 100% stock. That means a stock ROM, a stock bootloader, a stock recovery, a stock kernel, everything needs to be 100% stock. Once you have done that, you can go to fastboot, OEM, lock. It will say, do you want to lock the bootloader? It's going to wipe all of your data if you do it. You're going to come down here, you're going to say yes. And then it's going to go through the process of locking the bootloader, wiping all your data, and it will be back and restarted here in just a few minutes. Once you've done all that, the device will boot. It will start up just like a normal device. You can unlock it. You can go, I'm sorry, you can go into the device. You can use it just like you normally would. And it's just like you got it shipped to you just from OnePlus. So it's a brand new device. Bootloader is locked as long as you didn't do it to custom ROM or custom kernel bootloader or recovery. So if you guys have any questions about either of these processes, either on how to unlock the bootloader or how to lock the bootloader, feel free to hit us up in the comment section down below. We'll have links to where you can download minimal ADB and Fastboot if you don't have it already, as well as links to our review of the OnePlus 5, which is currently our favorite device of 2017. If you guys don't already, please remember to subscribe to us on Twitter and YouTube so you can stay up to date with all of our latest content. And as always, just want to tell you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support and you all have an awesome day.